I'm back for another Dave Asprey debunking video. In case you don't know, Dave Asprey is the author of the Bulletproof Diet book, and in this video I'm going to tackle two claims he makes. In his book and in many of his interviews, he lists kale as a rich source of oxalates, which he suggests can inhibit mineral absorption and lead to the formation of calcium oxalate stones. Now people think this is food. So this is my PSA to tell you straight up. If you like your kidneys, if you don't want oxalate crystals in your joints causing gout, or maybe even in your vulva if you're so equipped, maybe this should go back to being garnish because it's not food. I've previously tackled the claim about stones in another video, but I do want to note that it is well understood that oxalates can reduce calcium absorption. But the solution there is just not to focus on oxalate-rich foods for your calcium. Fortified plant milks are a great option, but he also suggests that oxalates inhibit iron absorption. So we're going to tackle that claim as well as the claim that kale is a rich source of oxalates. In fact, there's a study that tackles both. Women alternated between consuming bread rolls with spinach and an oxalate content of 1.27 grams and kale with an oxalate content of 0.01 grams between lunch and dinner every day for three days. And they know how much oxalates were in the foods because they measured it. And this lines up with data from other databases suggesting that kale is actually very low in oxalates. They added iron to the kale meal to make sure that the iron content of both meals was the same, and the absorption of iron ended up being very similar between the two. So it looks like he's wrong on both accounts. 